What's up guys and welcome to the video. Today's vehicle is a 2016 Volkswagen Tiguan and overall it's not in bad shape uh, but clearly hasn't been detailed in a while. So there's some blooming on the tires that we'll need to take care of. The barrels of the wheels are pretty dirty and really the whole vehicle is covered in a layer of dirt. Moving to the inside and the door jams are full of dirt. The whole inside is going to need a good vacuuming as there's lots of dirt and dog hair throughout. And just before we jump into the video, make sure you take a second and subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so you don't miss when I drop new videos like this. And yeah, I've got a lot of work to do to get this Tiguan looking pretty, so let's get started. Alright, so as I get started on the pre-wash rinse here, what I'm really focusing on is trying to be super thorough because this car has black paint and I want it as clean as possible before my wash mitt hits the paint so that I can hopefully eliminate any chance of instilling swirl marks when I wash it. Now of course this car has carpeted wheel well liners and you guys know just how much I love these. Seriously though, it's amazing how much dirt can get trapped in these things. Just look at it all pouring out of there. Moving to the wheels and after spraying on some wheel and tire cleaner, I'll agitate with a few different brushes and have these wheels nice and clean in just a couple of minutes. And now if you guys aren't already following me on Instagram, then you are missing out on sneak peeks of upcoming vids and behind the scenes stuff. So go ahead and give me a quick follow over there. Onto the floor mats and for these I give them a quick rinse to get any loose dirt off. Then spray on some all purpose cleaner, diluted four to one, scrub them down with my soft wheel brush and then rinse all that nice foam off. This method works really well and gets them nice and clean. And don't worry about my toes here, I'm using a safe amount of pressure and a nice wide 40 degree tip on the wand so I could easily give myself a pedicure without any pain. Now that the Tiguan is covered in foam, I'm using my detail brush to get into all the crevices around the front end and then I'll also go around all the emblems and in behind the gas door since those areas would normally be missed by my wash mitt. Now one thing I'll do when there's enough clearance is use my fender well brush on the plastic liners up front and scrub them down using the last of the water from my wash pail. And if you guys are wondering where to get one of these, I've got all the links for nearly every product and tool I use in the description so you can check those out if you're interested. Hey, look who's back, it's Mike. So Mike was quite the chatterbox while we were drying the car and wanted me to ask you guys what your favorite detailing product is. Obviously his is this big plush microfiber drying towel because the drying stage is almost the only time he ever actually helps me with the detail. But yeah, let us know in the comments and give the video a big thumbs up if you wanna see more of Mike. Now moving on to the interior and it's time to get all the loose items out of the car and it never, ever ceases to amaze me at how much stuff people will leave in their vehicle when they drop it off to get detailed. But honestly, I'm okay with that because I love seeing what kind of weird things I can find, like this big giant toothbrush. Just kidding guys, it's actually an ice scraper and snow brush. Certainly not something uncommon to see up in Canada, except it's a little weird to see that in the middle of summer, but oh well.
All right, time to get the vacuum plugged in and start going around the interior with a detail brush to lift and suck up any of the dirt that's hiding down in the cracks and the crevices in and around the door handle, around the air vents, and anywhere else that dirt or dust could hide. I don't leave any area of this vehicle untouched. If there's dirt or dust in here, I will find it. Now the one tip I have when vacuuming the seats is to really stretch and open up every seam because that's where the dirt collects the most. And once I move on to cleaning the leather with the horsehair brush a bit later, I don't wanna to have to pull the vacuum out again. So as I vacuum around the vehicle, I'm looking around and assessing the carpets for any stains or heavily soiled areas. And fortunately here, these carpets were actually in pretty good shape, so I didn't need to pull out the extractor. All right, so in the driver's footwell here, it was pretty clear that around the edges of where the floor mat sits, the dirt was super embedded in the carpet. So I grabbed my drill brush to agitate and lift all that dirt up to the surface where I could easily suck it up with the vacuum. These drill brushes work really well for this. Moving to the trunk area, and because this had a nice rubber liner in it, it actually did a really good job of containing any dirt, but I'll still do a quick vacuum underneath as there was a few of Fido's hairs that had made their way under there, and then I'll also lift up the floor and get into the spare tire area as well. We're not gonna leave any section of this vehicle untouched. All right, so since there was a fairly good layer of dust all over the interior panels, I'm using some all-purpose cleaner at a 10 to 1 dilution ratio and a microfiber towel to wipe down every panel, including using a detail brush to get into all the small crevices so that nothing gets missed.
So now for the petals, and again I'm using my 4 to 1 APC and a detail brush to agitate and then wipe these clean. Moving on to the leather seats, and once the cleaner is on the seats, I'm using a nice soft horsehair brush to agitate and enhance its cleaning ability, really making sure to get into the seams on each seat. And once that's done, I simply wipe it off with a clean microfiber towel. Once the seat is fully dried, I follow that up by applying a conditioner with a microfiber applicator pad, again making sure to get down into the seams to help keep the leather looking and feeling new. If you want to have a look at any of these products or others that I use in these videos, the links are all in the description, so feel free to check those out. All right, now it is time to get all the interior trim dressed and UV protected. And for that, I use my absolute favorite product, which is also widely regarded in the detailing industry as one of the best UV protectants out there, and that is Aerospace 303. And I apply that to every plastic or vinyl component of the interior with a microfiber applicator pad. This is gonna leave the interior with that freshly detailed look that I just love. The last step of the interior is to get the glass cleaned and the best tip I have for you guys here is to use a waffle weave towel to avoid leaving any streaks or lint behind. Okay, now it is time to get this Tig One's paint protected give it some gloss. So I'm using my dual action polisher, which makes this a super quick process. I'm applying a nice even layer of wax, leaving it till it's dried and hazy, and then wiping it off with a clean microfiber towel. Second last step before we can see the final results is to apply Aerospace 303 to all the exterior plastic trim to really make it pop and taking it from looking dull and gray to a nice deep matte black look. Last up is the tires, and for this I use Carpro Pearl diluted 2 to 1, which leaves them with a nice matte black finish when it dries.
All right, guys, and seven hours later, we have transformed this Tiguan into a glossy black beauty. It is looking really sweet. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Turn the bell on. And yeah, that's it. I will see you guys in the next one.